Welcome everyone, I'm Jim and this is Gardening Through the Seasons Inside and Outdoors. Briefly, I would like to talk to you about some roses in my garden that I have found to be the most disease resistant on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the most disease resistant is how I will rank these. So this is Amazing Grace. It does pretty good. I would say it's a seven or so. It can get powdery, powdery mildew. Let's just continue on here. And over here we have some David Austin roses, uh, Princess of Monaco, and I believe Charles Darwin here. I'm really very impressed with David Austin roses. I don't know if it's, I just was, um, you know, fortunate to pick out ones that happen to be disease resistant or if he just did a really good job overall at doing disease resistant roses. Because these are, I would say they're a good nine. And I'm gonna show you actually some more David Austin roses here. So over here, we have Julia Child. That's not a David Austin rose, but it has a nice fragrance and it sure seems to be vigorous and disease resistant. Let's go on to some more here now. I would like to show you briefly over here, I have a knockout and these are famous all over the United States. Uh, very disease resistant. I, I do see a little bit of black spot. I have seen in some uh, locations them getting black spot, but overall, if they're taken good care of, they seem to do really well. I'm gonna show you one of my all time faves, and this is from Heirloom Roses. This is winter sunset. I never have any problems, and it's just so floriferous it's not really fragrant but just so floriferous especially if you love this color it's the way to go let's keep going i want to check out this david austin rose again so this one here okay let's let's go over here there's a bigger one this one is called um oh what, what's the name of it young lucidius i'm sorry my wife had to help me uh a fragrance a kind of a citrus fragrance but again I mean look at how vigorous it is and I, I virtually have no disease problems it does have a little bit of a virus because this one is grafted I didn't get it from heirloom roses and uh, this virus can spread through grafting actually on this particular one At heirloom roses they do uh, own root roses so you don't have to deal with that this one over here I love this one of the ones I would have to own on a scale of one to 10. I would say this is 10 for disease resistance. It just virtually never gets black spot or if it does, it never amounts to anything. And the uh, David Austin roses, by the way, that I uh, showed you, they're on a 10 on resistance. That um, knockout, I would say be about eight and the winter sunset would be a 10 as well. So those are some great disease resistant plants you might want to think of getting. If you like my video, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you next time.